Hey Pisces, welcome back to the channel guys. If you are new, you are welcome. Pisces, let's dig a little deeper. These cards go a little deeper, right? They're kind of psyche, the psyche of people. So let's see what's going on, Pisces, Holy Spirit. Let's dig a little deeper. Let's go to the dark side, shall we, Pisces? Everybody has a dark side. You know, unfortunately, alone in the world. Pisces, somebody's feeling alone. Could be somebody from your past with the number six. They're feeling alone. It's a lady in the picture, but doesn't necessarily have to be a lady. But somebody's feeling alone, Pisces. So whoever you're with or whoever you was with, whoever you're not talking to, they're feeling alone, Pisces. They're running around their house butt naked and everything. They're just, they're feeling alone. Oh, Pisces. And they want revenge. Pisces. Were you dating someone, Pisces, and they feel alone and now they want revenge from you? Or could it be, Pisces, that you're dating, let's say you're dating someone new and not saying that you took this person from someone, but maybe they feel like you did and maybe this person wants revenge. She's a bad one. She looked mad as hell, too. You know, minus the swords and, and, the, and the sticks coming out her back. Well, she got bloody eyes, too. She's pissed. And 23 goes down to a number five. So this is the swords. Like five of swords. This one here is knock if you buck, Pisces. I got a wild one, Pisces. You got a wild one, Pisces. You got a wild one, Pisces. Let me bring my bell a little closer. I may have to ring a few times. You never know, Pisces. <laughs> Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, guys. I'm going to start with Karmic Tales too, Just to see who you're dealing with. Somebody's feeling alone and they want revenge. Pisces. Mm, that's scary. They want revenge. They're feeling alone and they want revenge. Who is this? Somebody feels like they, they choose unavailable people. Well, you know, if you find yourself continuously choosing unavailable people, let me tell you how that happens. Sorry, ma'am. When you first meet somebody and they tell you they're with someone, they're unavailable. That means back out, like immediately from the door. Unless you think, oh, I'm going to take him or her from them. Don't do that. Don't ever go in with that intentions. If they have someone else at that time, you back up. You say, hey, call me when that's done. Call me when that's done, right? Because if you're choosing unavailable people, people is plural. That's more than one. So you do this often. Stop choosing unavailable people. It, it, it begins and ends with you. It begins and ends with you. So this person chooses unavailable people. And it's a karmic. Karmic. They tell you that they're married. They tell you that they're taken. They tell you that they're separated. They tell you that I'm dating someone else, but it's nothing serious. They tell you that I'm leaving a relationship. That means they're still in that relationship. So choosing unavailable people is a choice. So the fact that you want revenge, who are you going to revenge? Against yourself? I'm just trying to make it make sense, right? It has to make sense to me. Y'all know, y'all know me. It has to make sense to me. Could be an Aquarius. Or they could want revenge on an Aquarius. Or, you know, this person could be an Aquarius. Who the hell knows? They different. Maybe they think you different. Maybe they're different. Maybe, maybe they sharpen their pencil a little different than you. I don't know. I don't know, but they feel alone and they want revenge. They feel that they choose unavailable people. Choosing unavailable people is a choice. What else is going on? See, I told you this person, they choose unavailable people because it's a choice 
and it's self-sabotage. So they set themselves up to do this. So this is the type of person who you're not going to get a pass over here on my table, right? Because I know you watch. And I'm going to tell you why you're not going to get a pass. Could it be you choosing unavailable people? Because when you choose unavailable people, that lets you know that the person you're dating has someone. And I think sometimes people choose situation, situations like this because they'll prefer situationships over relationships, right? Meaning, if this woman here did never stand up and say, hey, this can't happen, then you would continue to let it be a situationship instead of making it more than what it is. Because you're choosing people that has a husband, that has a wife, that has a this, that has a that, that have this, they have that, they have someone. You self-sabotage every time because you don't want to be in a serious relationship. Let's be honest here. You don't want to be in a relationship because you're choosing someone who already has someone. So do you really want to be in a relationship? No, this is self-sabotage. You do this because you do this. You choose people who have people because you really don't want a relationship. So the next time you meet a man or a woman and they tell you any of the scenarios that I gave you, that they're with someone, they're dating, they're this and that, they got issues, blah, 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 that's your cue to leave. So you can't revenge anyone. This is you. This is you. You can't revenge nobody. This is a karma contract. So every relationship this person gets into, guys, they just go in with a karmic contract. Like, this is a karmic. It's like they go in as the karmic, like, here, sign this, and I'm going to mess your life up. And then I'm going to act like it's all your fault and want revenge on you because now I'm feeling alone. That's personal. Self-sabotage. Self-sabotage. You, you, you choose unavailable people. Now this person is praying, and rightfully so. You should be praying. Choose people that are available. Don't choose people that have someone else. Because when you choose people that have someone else, you know what? That's you saying that I just want you a little bit of the time. Not all the time, but a little bit of the time. Like I can see you one, two days out of the month. But I don't have to see you every day. I don't have to see you every weekend. I don't have to check in. You know why? Because they have someone. It's someone else's headache. And then you see them when you see them. Until you fall in love. Or until they walk away. And now this person don't walked away with you. Now you're realizing your, your punk ass and probably fell in love with it. And now you're praying. Holy Spirit. People. Lack of emotional intelligence. They're definitely lacking. For sure, Pisces. For sure. Oh, you Holy Spirit, what's going on with this person? What's going on? Yeah, what's going on with this person? I think it's an Aquarius, Pisces. You walked away from them, and now they want revenge. But Pisces, you was probably in a situation to begin with, right? And now they want, this is self-sabotage, but they also want revenge on you. But this person chooses unavailable people. Maybe you was taken, Pisces. I don't know what your situation is, right? But this is something that they do. They self-sabotage all the time. They come in handing out karma contracts, not even realizing it. The minute you sign up to be someone else's extra, you're entering into a karma contract. Because you're willing to be the third will. Or the fifth will. Or the seventh will. Or the ninth will. Or the eleventh will. You get it? It's uneven. The seventeenth will. Holy Spirit, Pisces, what's going on with this person here that's feeling alone in the world? Ace of Cups, yeah, they don't feel love, Pisces. They don't feel love, and now they want to come and clean it up with you, Pisces. They want to come and tell you they're true. They want to come and tell you they're true. This is a King of Pentacles in reverse. And a Three of Wands in reverse. So they're walking away from something. Something ended in their life. And they just want revenge on everybody. They want revenge on everybody, Pisces. They feel they're alone. They feel they don't have no love. But that's because you was a sneaky ass. Now you want to clean it up. Yeah, this person was the devil. This was the devil. They're bored with their offers. They don't want whoever's offering them something. They don't want that. They want a will of fortune. They want to go forward. They want something more. They want something that they couldn't have.
because they self-sabotage all the time. It's an Empress in reverse. See, this person here had someone. They did. It's an Empress in reverse. There was some infidelity here. Something happened. Three of Pentacles in reverse. It just didn't work. Pisces, they could be coming back to you because they ended something with the Empress in reverse or trying to come back to you. They feel alone in the world. They want revenge on everybody. They date people who have people, right? This is a Knight of Swords in reverse. Told you they do things just to do things without thinking about doing the things that they do. So now they want to come back to you, Pisces, with the Ten of Swords in reverse because you're probably the best thing since sliced bread. <laughs> yeah, but they're still coming in as a Knight of Wands in reverse. So they're still self-sabotaging. They're still self-sabotaging themselves. Pisces. We have a Knight of Pentacles coming in. You got somebody else that's a little bit more reliable. Got their ducks in a row. Mm -hmm. And this person is coming in as the Knight of Cups as well. With love offerings. This is also your wish fulfillment. It's the star. Pisces. You either ended something or walked away from something. Three of Cups in reverse. You've been in Hermit. You've been thinking about this Knight of Wands for a minute now. And this person here that's trying to come back to you with the Three of Cups in reverse. Pisces, there's no chance in hell. And they still want to come in on the raw rah with the Knight of Wands in reverse. Meaning it's a revolving door. It's, it's not going to lock and shut. They're going to come in for a little while. They're going to leave. They're going to come in for a little while. They're going to leave. It's going to be like this. Pisces hell to the null. Five of Cups in reverse. Pisces, this person don't have no regrets. They just do what they do. They continuously create delays in their life. They stay up in their head. They juggle everybody. They're not manifesting because of who they are and what they do to other people, Pisces. But yet and still, they want to bring this energy back to you. I think not, Pisces. Therefore, we won't. This person doesn't follow their intuition, Pisces. They fly out of the seat of their pants. Thank the Lord you don't. You're wide awake, Pisces. This person's pissy. They could be pissed at you. You probably moved on. They're also pissed at somebody else. <laughs> And now, and after that, the pissing of that, now they want to come back to you. Ooh, Pisces. They want revenge on everyone. I guess they want to revenge everyone who has someone that they dated. So they choose to date people who have people. That's their choice. They self-sabotage and they pick unavailable people. That's personal and it's a choice because that shit is established at the beginning of the relationship, not middle or during. It's in the beginning. Hi, are you single? Are you single? Are you seeing anybody? Are you? Are you dating? Are you? Are you married? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Talk about it. Ask about it. Be about it. Either that or you just don't give a F. And they don't. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Pisces, when this person come back and they knock twice, don't answer the door. Don't answer the door. Peace.